。從 structure 上咧，唔同 element 嘅 oxides 可以分為三大類噶 ：ionic oxide、covalent oxides， 包括有 giant covalent structure 嘅 oxide， 同埋 simple molecular structure 嘅 oxides。而究竟會同 oxygen form ionic oxides 啊，定係 covalent oxides 咧？我哋主要會考慮咧 element 同 oxygen 之間佢哋嘅 electronegativity 嘅 difference 咧係大唔大噶 ？In general 咧，如果個 element 同 oxygen 嘅 delta E n 係好大嘅話咧，咁佢個 oxide 咧就會係 ionic in nature 噶啦。咁調翻轉頭，如果個 element 同個 oxygen 嘅 delta E n 係好細嘅話咧，咁個 oxide 咧就會係 covalent in nature 啦。咁如果個 element 同個 oxygen 嘅 delta E n 係唔大唔細嘅話呢，嗱咁呢啲 oxide 呢，我哋就稱之為 intermediate oxide， 即係話佢又有 ionic character， 又有 covalent character 啦。嗱，如果好似 metal oxide 咁啊，一般嚟講呢，相對 oxygen 呢 m e t a l s 嘅 electronegativity 呢，其實係好低嘅啫，所以佢哋之間嘅 difference in electronegativity 呢就好大啦。所以呢 m e t a l oxides 主要都係 ionic in nature 噶。嗱，以 purifree 嘅 elements 為例啊，有 sodium oxide、magnesium oxide 同埋 aluminium oxide， 佢哋都係 ionic in nature 噶。不過喺度咧，我哋可以順帶一提 ，across a period 咧，嗱，因為 electronegativity 咧係會 gradually increase 噶，咁所以個 difference in electronegativity with oxygen 咧就會慢慢減少啦。所以個 metal oxide 嘅 ionic character 咧係會 across the period 咁樣下降噶，即係個 oxide 咧越嚟越 covalent。aluminium 同 oxygen 之間嘅 delta E n 咧就唔大唔細，所以咧雖然 aluminium oxide 咧主要係 ionic in nature， 但係其實佢嘅 covalent character 咧都唔低嘅。呢啲咁嘅 oxide 咧，我哋可以叫佢做 intermediate oxide。至於 g o o d f o r 嘅 silicon 咧，係會同 oxygen form covalent bond 而形成響 p u r i f y 唯一一隻有 giant covalent structure 嘅 oxide silicon dioxide 啦。而其他嘅 non-metal oxides 咧，因為 non-metal 同 oxygen 嘅 delta E m 唔會好大啊，咁所以咧 non-metal atom 同 oxygen 之間嘅 bonding 咧，主要都係 covalent bond 而形成一個 covalent molecule。例如 phosphorus 會喺 oxygen 裏面自己燃燒啊，燒到紅紅聲，而產生 P4O10。收埋咧就會 burn 線 oxygen， 產生一啲好靚嘅藍色嘅火，而產生有 choking smell 嘅 sulfur dioxide。而 chlorine 咧，雖然同 oxygen 會產生好多唔同種類嘅 oxides 啊，例如大 chlorine oxide， 但係 chlorine 咧佢就唔會直接同 oxygen 有 reaction 而產生 chlorine 嘅 oxide 噶。